Hey, this is Web Junior 1977 here. Just wanted to do a quick video here. Um, this is like the third attempt, but uh, you don't need to know that. <laughs> but anyway, last time I hit the button on my phone and it kind of took a crap, stopped the video. I'm like, yay. But anyway, I want to do uh, a pickups video of stuff that I've acquired. Uh, a pickup video slash, I guess they're still pickups, but um, uh, also Christmas gifts. But, uh, Without further ado, I'll show you. Uh, first thing I'll show you, the quickest thing to show you is up on the wall. Got the uh, the Mario up there. A friend of mine, he uh, actually made that out of wood and painted it. It's really really awesome. I really was really stoked to get that, and I and I appreciate it if you uh, if you're watching. But uh, yeah, I just put some like little rubber things there and screwed them to the. I didn't screw it to the wood itself because I didn't want to put any holes in it. So. It's just kind of holding it up there, keeping it from falling over, falling off. But um, just put the big items in the back. I'm going to start with the big, biggest item probably of all of it. And that's uh, the R2-DT that my mom got me. She also got me a pocket watch uh, with a, a, a son a saying of, you know, how much she loves her son. One of those uh, sappy things. <laughs> but it was really cool. Uh, I, love, I really love pocket watches. I don't know why. I just, uh, maybe I have an old soul. I don't know. But anyway, uh, this R2-D2 is pretty cool. It has a battery compartment, but it must be for a, uh, it must be a mold of a, a previous, uh, a previous mold, uh, because it doesn't have any metal connections in it for batteries, but it actually has the battery compartment. What is that? Okay, that's just for looks. But anyway, I mean, it's still really awesome. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I would just have the batteries out of it anyway, you know me. If anybody knows me, uh, I don't keep batteries and stuff anyway unless I'm actually using the batteries. Like, I don't take them out of remotes and put them back when I need them. I don't, I'm not that crazy. But, like, if I know I'm not going to use the it for a while, I'll take the batteries out. Which is a really good thing to do just because they can corrode in there if you don't actually use it. But, um, moving right along on the Christmas bit here. Uh, my buddy, I've known him for... Well, about 14 years now I've been working at uh, the job I'm at now, and uh, he got me this. I, I gave him some uh, st uh, some Spider-Man stuff, and he gave me this, which is really awesome. It's the uh, gold. Normally, I would take stuff out of the packaging, but I'm going to leave this in the packaging. Not because it's worth a lot of money or anything, but just it looks flashy, looks fancy. Um, and there's really no need to take it out. It just looks cool as, as a display, just because the packaging is so nice and... If there's nothing special about the packaging, then I'd normally just take it out. But uh, in this case, there's actually, you know, the packaging is actually really nice. Um, I got this. Uh, it's This really isn't a Christmas gift, but um, it started off as uh, my sister-in-law buying one for my wife. Well, her sister, more specifically. Um, for a Christmas gift, and she loved it. And uh, she's like, "How much did you pay for that?" And she's like, "Twenty, like twenty-five bucks, twenty-nine bucks. I think it's twenty-nine ninety-nine, thirty bucks. Uh, normally, almost fifty bucks. Um, so it was a really good deal. So my wife went out and bought three more from Amazon, Amazon.com. Um, I don't want to tell you the name of it. It's actually Alexa is actually the name of it, but the big white word there I don't want to say because it's listening behind me right now, and we'll start a command prompt and." Uh, wouldn't be the end of the world, but uh, I'd rather not. Let's put it that way. Um, you can do all kinds of stuff here um, with it. Uh, if you need to know more about that, just look it up on on YouTube. I'm sure there's plenty of people that have uh, videos. I actually just uploaded a video of asking about where Chuck Norris, how to find Chuck Norris. You have to check that out. Pretty funny. Um, but you can do all kinds of stuff with these. Uh, I'd, I'd advise to buy it quick if you uh, if you're able to buy one now. And uh, you've been thinking about buying them, uh, buying one. I would really recommend buying it now, just because you can get the uh, get it for thirty dollars when it's on sale before it goes back to like fifty bucks. Yeah, so definitely uh, check that out. Uh, let's see. Also, a Christmas gift from this is from my sister-in-law and brother-in-law. It's a really awesome sword. It's not it's not sharp, which is a good thing because I don't you know collect swords because they're sharp and because I can kill somebody with them. <laughs> I collect them because they're cool. This is uh, an Excalibur. Really awesome. Really appreciate them getting that for me. Uh, the blade is... Uh, 
don't really know exactly the length of the blade. So I'd say I'd say like thirty couple inches. That's not a real long blade, but uh, I mean it's long enough. It's it's a really awesome looking blade. Uh, it's got the it's got a cool design on it, and uh, I really appreciate that. And uh, a couple of my friends asked me, "Where's the sheath?" I was like, "The Excalibur never had a sheath, if you if you remember correctly." But uh, anyway, uh, also. I didn't get this for Christmas. I actually purchased this at a farm sale, uh, a, a farmer's market, which you wouldn't believe, <laughs> if I, unless you heard it here first, folks. But um, they have a lot of computer stuff. There's a, a dude that has all kinds of computer stuff. Very helpful guy. Really, really awesome dude. Uh, really willing to help you out. And let me open this up. Uh, it's an Acer, Acer uh, one, uh, Aspire one, and uh, yeah, it's a really awesome little. Really awesome little net netbook. Uh, I put a 320 gig hard drive in it. Uh, you just sold it without the hard drive, basically. And I bought a power supply for it. And uh, with the help with from help with my from my cousin, he uh, helped me get that going. Really awesome little uh, netbook. Uh, let's see what else. Okay, and then I'll finish up with the uh, with the items I've actually purchased today. Went to a local uh, retro gaming store and I uh, got this. Pretty sure it's an aftermarket uh, controller. I can't remember whether the. Uh, I was thinking at first, well, at first, obviously, because if it wasn't an aftermarket, it would clearly say Nintendo up here, and it doesn't. So that's the first thing that tells me that it's an aftermarket. Uh, the second thing that tells me it's an aftermarket is I've never seen one of these in my life. And. Uh, I've lived for the entire uh, birth and death of the uh, Nintendo, of the original Nintendo, I should say. So I'm pretty sure I would have seen one uh, by now. So I'm pretty sure it's an aftermarket. I'm, I'm 100, pretty much 100% sure that it's an aftermarket. Um, I was also thinking about the the Phillips screws, but I actually think that the uh, that the original. Uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the original. Uh, Nintendo and its controllers uh, took uh, have Phillips screws. I don't think they went to the uh, crazy triangle stuff yet. I'm pretty sure the cartridges might have went to that, but the uh, console and uh, controllers, I'm pretty sure were Phillips. But uh, I could be wrong about that. But I'm I think I'm tr I think that's the way it went. But uh, that's the way it is, and that's the way it was. And uh, last but not least, I uh, finally picked this up. Uh, again, I was thinking I was on the ropes about picking it up, picking it up, um, just because it was it, it's still a little bit pricey, and for good reason. I mean, it's a VR game. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like VR games because they say it, like gives them a headache or messes with their equilibrium. Equilibrium. There we go. Uh, it doesn't really do that for me, but uh, I know a lot of people uh, it does do that. So uh, if you get seizures or you know, if you uh, don't have very good balance or uh, things of that nature, you might not want to try this. But uh, what I was saying is, is I, this is another item I uh, wanted to see if I had, if one of my friends had it or somebody that I could borrow it from to see if it was worth buying. But again, it was kind of futile, futile because of the fact that they'd have to have a VR, and if they had a VR, <laughs> then. That same uh, friend could have let me try his VR or her VR, whatever the case may be, and uh, before I bought it. But I'm glad I bought the VR. I'm very glad. Um, I highly recommend the VR. It's it's still pretty pricey, uh, and they're still selling it brand new, uh, and it's still pretty pricey. But it's worth every penny. If you can afford it, buy it. That's what I say. Because I couldn't believe how realistic it was. It was crazy realistic. Um, I just couldn't believe how realistic it actually was. Until I tried it, and it was it was nuts, and still is. I can't wait to try this out. But uh, but yeah, uh, enough of my rambling. Might go horse here. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, look out for new videos here coming up. Uh, gonna have a uh, some time off here, um, layoff weeks and stuff, and uh, this month and next. So uh, I'll definitely uh, be doing some more live streams. And all that good stuff. I might even do a live stream after this. Who knows? Uh, so stay tuned and check it out. And, you know, keep keep on your toes with it. And uh, if you hit that bell notification, you have, first you have to be subscribed, of course. 
uh, hit the bell notification and that way it'll chime in whenever uh, I upload a new video hopefully sometimes it don't work you know how that goes technology is good sometimes and not so good other times but anyway thanks for watching everyone and as always until next time I'll meet you right back here in the Oasis